Devontae Smith here. Devontae, how would you say the individual chemistry that you have and all the receivers have with Jalen has uh, encouraged the success you've had in the passing game this year? Um, I would say just everybody, you know, making sure we're on the same page, um, doing whatever we got to do to uh, make sure that we get the reps that we need, that we feel comfortable going into the game. How did you earn Jalen's trust? Because he takes care of the football, just six interceptions this year, but obviously has gone downfield, put it in, the ball in places that he trusts you to go get the football, and you guys have delivered in so many ways. Taking care of the ball the same way he has. Um, you know, when he throws us the ball, he expects us to be us or nobody. So that's what we do. Same way he take care of the ball, make sure that we take care of it. How have you elevated AJ's game, and how would you say AJ's game has helped elevate you? Um, we both have something in our game that the other one probably doesn't have. So, you know, just giving each other tips on things, whether it's us doing something that we see and we're like, okay, I can help you with this. You can help me with that. And it's just like anytime it's something that we can help each other with, we always there to help each other. How have you guys developed that team chemistry where if you guys run the ball 300 yards, you know, the passing game doesn't get upset and, and vice versa, depending if you have a big game, AJ has a big game, how has that all been? for your guys' team chemistry? Everybody's just happy for each other. Everybody happy when you win. And that's the bottom line. Kansas City specifically, it's a young secondary. Um, they were tested against Cincinnati and, and they rose up. What have you seen from them that presents a challenge to you on Sunday? I mean, those guys aren't here for nothing. They've made it this far because, I mean, they're great players. They've been um, doing some great things on defense. They, they attack the ball and things like that. So, I mean, those guys are here for a reason. How big do you guys uh, play in a role with the running game? You know, when, when there is that game plan to run the football as effectively as you guys had this year, where do the receivers come in that? Um, we have blocking assignments just like anybody else on offense, so making sure that you block your guy. And some mentality? Definitely. Thank you, Devontae. Thank you. Appreciate it. Good luck Sunday. Slay, as we're going with. No, forget the Darius, forget the junior. Well, we love your mom and dad, but yeah. uh, okay. How do you wrap your head around this? Ten years, man, in the league, and you are finally at a Super Bowl. Man, I'm just thankful, man. Uh, I'll just be like looking like, man, I'm really here. You know, it took me ten years. It took me ten years to get out of the first round of the playoffs. So I'm enjoying this. I'm loving it, man. It's a great experience, man. Uh, it's a long time, though. This two weeks are long. It's a long week, so. <laughs> I'm ready to play, man, but uh, I'm taking one day at a time and, uh, and just getting my mind right and focus. And you are amongst a defense that is just so formidable. I mean, up front, y'all on the back end, best pass defense in the NFL. Why are you so special? Uh, we're a special group, man. We, we play together. We play as one. You know, uh, we like a string, so we all play together. You know, with the D-line is doing as great as they're doing, uh, they helping us be great as well. So uh, we thankful for them guys. Them boys, guys, thanks for us because uh, – yeah, man, it's a team effort. You seen anything like that that front that you have? I mean, y'all have 78 sacks. Yeah, that's not. That's a lot. You know, I had a, I had a D line that went crazy before in 2014 in Detroit. That was amazing with Dominic Sue, Nick Fairley. You got to do now, though. Yeah, I know. Right now, <laughs> and, you know, I had a Zig Young song. So I had some guys too like this, yeah. but this is here. It's a lot different, man. These guys, because back then, you know, it's a run heavy kind of now. They drop back. So guys really getting after the quarterback, you know, at this time they love rushing now. Okay, take me into your defensive meetings. And when you talk about Patrick Mahomes, what are the things on the whiteboard that are critical for you guys to understand and really wrap, I think, throughout the week as you get ready for Sunday? Understanding that he's a very, very talented guy, you know, so he's one of the best in the game by far. You know what, he is the best quarterback in the game. But the fact that, you know, he can make any type of throw, we know that. Everybody know that in the world. Just You just got to do your best at just, you know, containing them, making them uncomfortable, you know, just making him be, a, you know, a very uncomfortable guy. Because yeah. other than that, you know, he can go. You know, he's a guy that can make plays. He got he can stand the play. He can throw across his body. So uh, his only weakness is himself, and, you know. So we just go out here and just execute and play hard, do our, job, um, do our assignment, and then we try and do everybody else's job. I know you think he's the best opposing quarterback, but I know you love Jalen. I mean, I, th there's nothing you wouldn't do for Jalen Hurts. W what is it like this week knowing he's your quarterback going into this game? Oh, uh, it's, it's great. I love it. You know what I'm saying? If I, I'm choosing anybody, I'm choosing Jalen Hurts. You know, because I know what the type of work he put in. I know what kind of where he go out there and play. I know how he go. He go play his hardest. He'll put the team first. And uh, he's a guy, man. He's my brother. So uh, I'm thankful for him to be on this team with him. You know, watching him grow as a man, as a player, uh, it's just amazing, man, because, uh, you know, the, the growth is crazy between year two and year three, yeah. what type of player he is, and he's an amazing player. What, what are you going to do when you take the field on Sunday? What's uh, the first thing? Uh, man, probably, go, probably just go, you know, thank the Lord and Savior, you know, just for me, put me in this position, 
and, and after that, I'm locked in. You know, I'm locked in. I'm ready to go after that. Appreciate you. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks, running back Miles Sanders, I just take me into your, your group. Take me into this running back group that has been so impactful here, especially in the playoffs. Oh, man. Uh, it's a special group of guys we got here. And uh, it starts with our, with our, head, our head guy, uh, Jamal Singleton. And the, the type of energy that he brings is tremendous uh, every day. Um, he makes sure we're, we're locked in all the time. He comes from a military base, is what I'm very used to. You know, my, my mentor and trainer's uh, military, too. And, you know, just, just have a type of connection that a lot of people wouldn't understand, you know. Um, talk about a lot of things. Uh, off the field, you know, we relate to and uh, gives me advice, and that's why I'm so close with that guy. But starting with, with, with Boston and Kenny, those guys, you know, animals, yeah. straight animals uh, when they get on the field, and uh, pretty dangerous when all of us are clicking and, and getting a rhythm in there, and can't do it without those those guys up front. And yeah, it's just it's just very fun to play football right now and be a, a Eagles running back uh, in this Eagles running back group. And, yeah. It's just, all I can say is it's real fun. I know Jalen says, hey, if the, the phone rings, answer it. Mm -hmm. And y'all have. I mean, whether it's Boston, whether it's you, Gainwell, but even Jalen, do you think a defense can actually contain this running group? Like, you're going to see the Chiefs on Sunday. I mean, is this, can you be contained at this stage? Um, I mean, everybody, I mean, this is the NFL. I mean, anything can happen. And all I know is uh, we do a very good job of, you know, um, trying to do whatever we're trying to do and we work very hard throughout the week uh, we spend a lot of time critiquing everything especially with the grand game and just to make sure we don't do anything into any bad looks or anything like that but uh, the type of work we put in each week is is I don't think is in my opinion is outmatched and um uh, you see the performance. You see the results on Sundays. Yeah, you got 13 rushing touchdowns you're being humble why is Jalen special this year uh, he's been special uh, since since day one, since he came in here, and we're actually the same exact pick. He's a, he's a 53rd pick, and I was a 53rd pick. So, and I actually uh, I was supposed to announce before COVID. I was supposed to announce his uh, no his, his draft pick at in Las Vegas that year. Yeah, so that was that was actually crazy. But yep, yep. And but no, nah, he's he's been special since day one. Um, since I met him, you could kind of tell what type of demeanor and um, how his personality is. is very cool laid back but but he's about his business and you see it every day um his first one in there and the last one out and everybody sees that and respects that and what you see on sunday is literally all his hard work throughout these three years and he's developing to the to the to the type of player that he is right now you're so low-key you guys are so business-like and locked in this is a super bowl well, what emotions are going through you miles as you get ready for sunday the, the best biggest stage on in sports I just want to play. <laughs> I, I, I honestly, we just want to play. Uh, we say that every day about uh, about now. So this this week is uh, we understand how important this week is to everybody else and stuff like that. But honestly, it was my opinion. Everybody wants to play about now. But um, we're just taking it day by day, um, like you said, and being our we're, we're free door. Um, that's all we can do. And you know, and just just try to stay focused with all this stuff going on. Give me two keys, three keys against the Chiefs. Pretty good defensive front. How are you guys going to break through this thing? Give me a couple keys. Uh, I can't get no keys. <laughs> all I can say, all I can say is, um, it's going to be fun. It's going to be real fun. It's going to be real fun on Sunday, and I just hope we come out on top.